Hello everybody, my name is Frigid Hyperion, and welcome back to the Wilds of Wildmount campaign. We're in the middle of session 24 now, and this will be part 2. Uh, Emily, do you want to take the reins on yes. the level up? Alright. Um, take the reins down in Africa. You all get yourselves ready for um, the night ahead. Setting up your tents, your campfire, and dinner, I presume? Yep. A wonderful escargot. Um, how are we preparing? Slash, who's cooking? And if we're going to be doing any foraging? Um, if we're going to... Anything like that. Tell me what you're going to do while we prepare for the night's rest. I am going to follow whatever Anemo's lead is in terms of cooking. He's got the recipe book, and he wanted to cook it. Um, before, like, what, like, setting up the camp and everything is normal. Moonsick will help Anemo uh, pitch the tent, and then uh, whilst <laughs> yeah, you will. <laughs> <laughs> whilst uh, whilst preparing to cook, he is going to walk around and forage to see if he can find any, okay. uh, you know, any berries or mushrooms or anything, as well as um, any rare ingredients, if at all possible. Soren. Um, Soren is going to be pitching the tent, uh, pitching his own tent as well. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 you are. Yeah, yeah, he is. <laughs> uh, but before doing that, he is going to be gathering firewood and. Yeah, he uh, is. And, uh, <laughs> for the I'm sorry, campfire. Sid. You're gathering firewood for the campfire. Yes, and lighting it. Yeah, he's got okay. wood. So you're lighting the campfire. I assume you're using produce fame. Yes. Okay, and um, so you're able to get that uh, going pretty easily there. Uh, wind chime. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm sorry, you're having some audios issues. Uh, Winshime is scavenging to help with dinner. Cool, cool. So you're also going to be looking with, um, Moonzik, I presume? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, Edward. Uh, Edward's gonna read one of his books. Are Is you going, did you, available? curiosity... Did you uh, he's going to make unseen servants do it for him. Uh, to get Did ready you... for like all the pots and like you know. Okay. Uh, Did you, you know, every? Sorry. Did you identify? I know we didn't quite go over it. Um, I was going to identify. What was I going to identify? I remember we had the snail's heart. We had the mushrooms. Any anything have, else you guys have your in your inventory that you need identified? We had the Balhanath heart, not the snail heart. No. Yeah, my bad. Uh, I'm, oh, I'm yes. going to identify that. We uh, also had the new magical items, items as well from Quinn. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to so, just. Out of curiosity, do you have enough money to do this? Do what? what? Oh no, you have the pearl. Never mind. I'm sorry. I forgot. It's not. It's not consumed. I apologize. It's not consumed. Yeah. If it was, like, I'm not paying a hundred gold to like. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Worth like sixty gold. I don't know what I was thinking. Um. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, Balhamoth heart. Um, and you know, for the rest of the time, he's gonna literally ritual cast a small army to uh assist him in cooking and setting up camp and helping all the other people that he's supposed to escort. Okay. So you are grabbing the ball of heart. The oh, where did I put that? Okay. 
Okay, so besides the ball hall and the heart, what else are you ritual casting? Seen serpent. And we're not. So you're not looking at the amulet or the stone. Wait, the amulet? Like. Or the stone. Or the stone oh, you mean from on Quinn. The yeah, my mic cut out for that entire section, so I had. Sorry, my internet cut out for that entire section, so I genuinely could not. I'm not sure if you guys heard me like connecting and re like reconnecting and disconnecting. I heard it once. Yeah, it was because you guys, like, you know, I had connectivity issues. Right. Right. So, um, yeah. Uh, if you guys want, uh, if you guys will give me the amulet stone, I will identify it for me as well. That's not it's up to, to Animo. Can you hear? Yes, uh, yeah. Were you uh, muted? But, but I also did not hear where we are. We're at camp. We're at camp. We're at camp, and what am I doing? That's the question. That's the question? Okay. And the question is, are you giving Rocky uh, your... Uh, or the items you picked up to uh, identify what they do? To identify what they do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I guess I'll spend my time figuring out what they do. All right. Oh, I, would, I would be. Oh yeah. I would be Showing. The first off, there is the first amulet. It is an amulet of mind shielding. Uh, while wearing this amulet, you are immune to magic that allows other creatures to read your thoughts, determine whether you are lying, know your alignment, or know your creature type. Uh, creatures can telepathically communicate with you only if you allow it. You can use an action to cause the ring to become invisible until you... It's not ring. It's actually an amulet. I changed it. Um, yep. To cause the uh, amulet to become invisible until you use another action to make it visible, etc. Um... If you die while wearing the amulet, your soul enters it unless it already houses a soul. You can remain in the ring or depart for the afterlife. As long as your soul is in the ring, you can telepathically communicate with any creature wearing it. A wearer cannot prevent this telepathic communication. Mm. Neat. Uh, I was thinking the big highlight around it is oh, know your creature type. I was thinking, what if we gave this to Cheem and just no one will know what he is unless he allows it? Uh, other yeah, side of this, we could give it to Animo, and nobody knows he's a werewolf. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. I like that. Oh, like yeah, that. I mean, <clears throat> we got a lot of people who are trying to hide their identities in our party. Yeah, but this is this is very people. true. But I'd say the worst one to f have somebody find out is that's a fucking werewolf, and it's the most likely to occur. What's a werewolf? He's, what? he's got werewolf. a point. Or a were were panther. A wanther. A wanther. Yeah, I I apologize. Clearly, I have not been. Okay. Um. Then the other one is Ayun uh, Stone of Overland Travel. An Ayun Stone, named after Ayun, a god of knowledge and prophecy, revered on some worlds, including this one. Um, many types of Ayun Stones exist. Each type is a distinct combination of shape and color. Uh, when you use you can, yeah, when you use an action to toss one of these stones in the air, the stone orbits your head at a distance of you know one to three feet, and confers a benefit to you. Thereafter, another creature must use an action to grasp or net the stone to separate it from you, either making a successful attack roll against an AC of 24 or a successful DC 24 dex acrobatics check. Um, you can use an action to seize and steal the stone, ending its effect. Uh, the stone has an AC of 24, 10 hit points, resistance to all damage, and is considered to be an object that is worn while it orbits your head. This one... The Stone of Overland Travel is you gain access to the Goodberry spell oh. and and proficiency to the skill athletics as this dusty rose prism orbits your head. Oh, so that's heading that's to really good. Wind good Chime, really right? Because light life cleric and uh, Goodberry, right? 
that's yes, good. that's <laughs> true. Yes, definitely wind chime. Yeah. Definitely, definitely wind chime. Definitely wind chime. Hundred percent. God, there's, we're gonna get so much healing constantly between fights. That is, as long as you're okay with um, this stone being taken from a statue of a god, right? I mean, it's not her god. Yeah, t take the stone. Take the I stone. mean, I'm the one that took it. So Only if you. I were. mean, you could you could always you could always direct the attention to me. Um. He looks around like, as if she might like <laughs> spy a god creeping up on them. <laughs> I guess I'll take it. Since nothing bad happened yet. Okay. Um. Yet. I. Uh. Oh shoot. I don't have silent image. I wish I had silent image so badly right I guess now. <laughs> I I was gonna pull a prank on Windchime. <laughs> Don't you have minor illusion? You I would like to that. attune to the thing, I guess. Oh, do I? I keep forgetting how many fucking cantrips I have. I need to check. <laughs> da 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 da. Da 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 da. Guidance. I do not. No, okay. I do not have minor illusion. I really should, but. It was not one of the ones I did. So, you. I'm gonna flavor your um, wind chime. Um, yeah. With this spell, you'll now see you always, while this orb, that orb, wow, while this stone is circling above your head, yeah. you have access to the spell Goodberry. It becomes not included as one of your prepared you always have it prepared as long as the stone is going around your head. It still does require spell slots to use it. Mm -hmm. Um but uh you do have access to it. Additionally, and I'm changing it in your sheet right now, you also while this is orbiting your head, gain proficiency in athletics. Which turns your plus one athletics checks to a plus four. Okay. Which is pretty nifty. It is. And I can it, I can use it as long as I like have it. I as long as as long as it is attuned to it and it is currently circling above your head and nobody steals it from you, um, mm -hmm. you have access to both the uh, the skill proficiency and um, good berry. Oh. Yeah, I would say like only keep it up. Like, I know the athletics is important, but, like, keep it up only when you need it up. Otherwise, it's vulnerable. Right? Uh, to being, like, destroyed from, like, a mishap. We don't want that. Now. Um, I will say, I personally will not have any, uh, anything or spell attack it unless it's very explicit that that is going to be what happens. There's like, also... If some like, Sorry. it's considered worn, right, or carried, so it's not affected by fireball or area of effect spells. It's also an object, which is very important uh, when it comes to AoE effects, because very few AoE effects uh, affect uh, objects. There is one that is important to know about this, Wait. though, and that is Thunder Wave. Yep. Mm. Thunder Wave and, shatter, uh, and Shatter are the shatter biggest... Is also are the biggest uh, culprits of oh god also, my items I used two I use both of them <laughs> mhm mm not in this game but yeah. but yes um they those those two spells and anything that will push uh an object away I think I don't know if gust counts as well um Wind? but um uh, catapult is a very funny thing. He pushed <laughs> it out. Now, I, ta I think it says that, that isn't being worn or carried. Since it counts as being worn, it can't be. But, like, I almost it want worn? it to count because yeah, that's incredibly funny. It's considered worn. It's considered worn. Oh, so man. it's like a magical tether. However, that is a very funny idea, Rocky. Okay. And then, um... 
for the or uh, for the amulet of mind shielding. You just have that now. Man, if it gave resistance to psychic damage and he was a bear barbarian. Oh, I'm does it uh, does it grant advantage on being charmed or no? No, it just prevents you... it. It prevents other people from reading your mind. It doesn't give you psychic damage resistance or anything. Okay. It does, however, um, make you immune to magic to determine whether or not you're lying. So zone of truth. Yeah. That'll or be nice like to you have. know suggestion, like you know be honest. Right. Yep. Uh, but if you die while wearing it, your soul goes into it. Which is actually really cool, and it would allow you to keep your soul from going to uh, another plane of existence, and allow you to stay around as an item. Make Wait a second. Easy. When you wear it, think psychic thoughts into the item. There might be somebody already in there. <laughs> You're right, um, actually, What happens if there's if there is already one in there, you can either get rid of them, <laughs> uh, which you can simply do by uh, request that they move on to the afterlife, um, slash whatever convincing would do, um, but they cannot store more than one soul. Yeah. And if you die when there's already a soul, uh, you can't enter it, so technically you have to go into the afterlife if the mm -hmm. other soul is not willing to pass on. Yep. And then we uh, just re resurrect you. Yeah, basically. Already. Um, and then the heart. And then the ball oh, and the heart. <clears throat> so... I did not type this one out. Um, it's not that I typed those out, I just stole them. Uh, <laughs> clearly. Clearly. Uh, I'd like to put on the amulet and... Attune to it? Amulet is a necklace, right? And attune to it. Yep. Yes. I would actually like to uh, explore the idea that there's a soul in it. Okay. Um. So. The Bahana's heart. Um, you can spend ten minutes with the heart using the heart. Um, to cast a uh, mirror arcane, mirage arcane. Um, however, upon casting it, it destroys the heart. Um, what is mirage arcane? Mirage arcane is That's a, that I don't know. It's a very high level spell. It's a seventh level spell. Um, oh, dang. You make terrain. In an area up to one mile square, square, look, sound, smell, and even feel like some other sort of terrain. The terrain's general shape remains the same. However, open fields or road could be made to resemble a swamp, a hill, a crevice, or some other difficult or impos impassable terrain. A pond may seem like a grassy meadow, a precipice like a gentle slope, or a rock-strewn gully like a wide and smooth road. Similarly, okay, so like you can alter the appearance of structure. Yes. Uh, similarly, you can alter the appearance of structures, add them to where none are present. Um, the spell doesn't disguise, conceal, or add creatures. The illusion includes audible, visual, tactile, and other olfactory elements. It can turn clear ground into difficult terrain, or vice versa. Otherwise, impede movement through the area. And any piece of illusionary terrain, such as a rock or stick, that is removed from the spell's area disappears immediately. Creatures with true sight can see through the illusion to the terrain's true form. However, all other elements of the illusion remain. So when the creature is aware of the illusion's presence, the creature can still physically interact with the illusion. Um, the duration on this spell is ten days. Hmm. Neat. 
So we're going to we're going to want to keep that heart preserved. It probably fetch a pretty penny too. I don't know. Do you what what do you guys like to do with it? This one's kind of cool. I don't think I we mean, should eat it. <laughs> I'm not really sure this is an intriguing magic item. I've never seen anything like it. What use would we have for illusionary terrain that we can interact with? Yeah, it's it's a stronger illusion. I think it's quite fascinating. Um, Philosophically, is it really an illusion if you can interact with it? Is there a way we have to, like... Is there something we have to do to preserve it from, like, rotting? Other than spamming gentle repose? Um... You could pickle it. You don't think that pickling it would decrease its magical e efficacy. Are you sure <laughs> on that? Do you want us to roll for I arcane am, and fail? I am certain on it. He's <laughs> just it having fun with the idea of brining it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I kind of catapulted my salt water at the snail. Kind of awkward. Um, speaking, so that is, is there anything else that you were going to identify? I mean, anyone else here have any magic items? Like the self-writing comic book, or like, you know, other magic you items? You know what the self-writing comic book does? Yeah. It's kind of in its name. Yeah. It Moonzik just has not looked at it yet. <laughs> yeah. Might be something he does soon. I I think I'm good. Okay. Yep. Um, okay. um regarding those with who are fucking around with a snail <laughs> <laughs> you are attempting to cook and consume and follow the instructions of the preparation for and whatnot for the snail. Um, yeah. I would like to say you have the body. No issues there. Um, there is the little point of contention of the stomach. Okay. Oh, we have to remove the stomach for its magical abilities. Yeah, also, are we scrapping the certain part of it that we can make a greater restoration potion? That's the so stomach. Potion, yeah. The that's stomach the has magical abilities? That's, yeah, yeah I that's the potion. potion. It, it, it gives uh, the restoration thing, right? That's No, that's yeah, it's the a potion of health, which is like a lesser restoration effect, but anyone can use it, so it's yeah. pretty... It's... Go to that's the correct, thing. right, Emily? Health. It's the elixir of health. Yeah, elixir yeah. of health. Yeah. All right. Um, <clears throat> who's got the highest? I've got higher arcana. Light of hand. It is an um, arcana check. It's an, an arcana, arcana check. check. I've I, got a I could arcana. be. I could be convinced to make it something else if you have a good reason. But base rules. Well, are... I'm, we're cutting out a stomach. Uh, Again, like. I have proficiency in Arcana, and I'm there cooking with you. And, I mean, at the same time, 100%. I have proficiency in Arcana. I got a plus seven, right? Yeah, but you're, you're... You're busy. You're, you're busy. busy. Yeah. Like, there is no question about what's going on with you. I could yeah. argue... Uh, some kind of <laughs> precision check. Yeah, you could. But um, you need to tell me which one it is and argue it. And the question is... Probably... Probably, I, I would say sleight of hand. But what is your arcana modifier? I've got a plus four. Uh, arguing animal handling? Mm. Okay, tell me why. Because you're handling well, an hand, animal? Animal, animal handling has typically been used to uh in terms of like domesticating communication and otherwise interacting with live animals 
Okay. Unless you could use the skills that you have from that and tell me a way that you can make it work. I could it nature survival. The soul of the animal. <laughs> Roleplay it. You really want <laughs> <laughs> Son of I a think bitch. I'm just gonna give it to Brian. Too deep. I think that. <laughs> you, you just, <laughs> no, I'm actually. Unless I can argue a constitution. It. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna argue this. <laughs> it's a constitution saving throw. What the fuck? For not throwing up all over it. Are you <laughs> fucking high? <laughs> That's a plus. You mean seven. the thing that we thought was so delicious we were gonna eat it? Yeah, that station thing. saving through throw to prevent me from eating it as I take out what? the What? What? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, how I about agree. this? I agree. And it's this? and it's constitution because it's the werewolf side of me, so I have to I have to Okay. What so here's what I'm gonna have you do. I think that this could be a lot of fun. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, nah. We can have Brian actually try to remove it. And yes. you Saved, tried not to eat. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just made it worse for myself. Do, yes. <laughs> do I get okay. it? All right. can, I, can I guide myself in this one scenario? No. no. <laughs> I'm, I'm guiding him, supposedly, <laughs> with my book. What? I should have advantage. He does have a recipe book. Have a recipe book. That's like cooking. Would presumably, exactly. tell tell somebody how to butcher said animal. Okay. So he's telling me this while salivating over this recipe. <laughs> Please. Okay. <laughs> no more. You have you, advantage. You okay there? You you gonna go a little? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. The fuck out of me. I'm fine. All right. All right. You're just- you're scaring me a little bit there. I'm afraid. Uh, oh, it's a plus five now because of my, uh... Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, phone. that's the first one. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God! Oh, no! oh. <laughs> that is not a high number. Oh, God, first the shell and now this. Oh no! And she's like you... constantly looking over her shoulder as like fur has like slightly <laughs> appeared at Animo's neck, and he's just like, no, no, I'm not going to eat it. And he's doing a very good job, but I'm just so psyched out that I'm not paying enough attention. I'm like, it's oh shit, there's yeah, I just cut open the stomach. You Fuck. just cut open the stomach. Fuck, I'm so sorry. They just toss it at Animo. Here, have the scraps. Um, We're just gonna cook the whole thing. There's nothing left for it. I destroyed it. Hold I'm on, sorry. Hold on. Um, you slice open the stomach by accident while trying to remove it. Um, yeah, you're you're fairly certain that unless the the unless the instructions are leaving something out. You don't necessarily know if it's gonna work anymore. I mean, it, it looks. Uh, I can make another Arcana check, yeah. D just to find out whether it, this is still salvageable. Like that wouldn't be a check to uh, actually salvage it. Actually salvage it. It would be a check just to find sure. out. Sure, just to, to to put the pieces together. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's a nat 20. <laughs> so, I now know I failed in the firmness of mind. <laughs> Disappointed to get the nat 20. You think it depends on the on the the preparation method. If the stomach is used as a component for it to be used or the contents of the stomach are important, it has failed. But you think there is a chance that the way that the recipe works, and you've seen it in a couple of uh, formulas, is sometimes you place things inside of the stomach and let it marinate, basically. Mm. And it has more to do with the flesh 
then it has to do with it being an intact ingredient. Right, right. Huh? So, it, you, you think, you, you actually know that there's a chance. Well, it's worth it to continue trying, but uh, if I make another incision, then it's not going to hold anything very no, you're well. Able, it's, it's out sliced open. Oh, it's out sliced open? Yes. Well, uh, sorry about that, Hedemo. There is a chance it's still worth something if it's meant as a container. <laughs> However, um, might have fucked up. The, uh, the, the rest of the stale is perfect. Oh. Meanwhile, as I, Animo has started eating this thing, <laughs> I can cut off the flails too. So, what the, what next in your recipe book? I'm just following your lead here. Yeah, next in our recipe book is blah 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Reading okay. text off you the page. Follow, you follow the recipe. Um. <laughs> Windchime and Moonzik are going off foraging. Yes. Roll me your forage checks. Survival, yes. Or is it per or perception? Uh, survival or nature. Either <laughs> or. Uh, let's go with survival. Windchime, help. Yep, yep, yep. I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Um, you guys go out into the woods, um, and the sun sets too quickly. <laughs> you cannot beat the DC-10 uh, of to find anything. <laughs> oh my oh, no. god. I turn that to in the dark. Strikes out. Commoner. Guys, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Can we stay like an extra 30 minutes and try again? It'll be dark, and you'll have disadvantage. Okay. He has dark vision, and like, we have dim light. Yeah, I, we both have dark vision. Dim light. I'm just saying, it'll be dark, like dark, dark. With the spooky nighttime, picture. with disadvantage. Uh, moon dark picture. vision. Yeah, but First with off, like light, dim, it becomes dim, yeah, dim it, light. It's still disadvantage. And so this even isn't if about hitting things. This is about finding things in a dark forest, Rocky. Yeah, fair Not to mention. So that, you're welcome to. Not to mention that with dark vision, it we, we can't discern colors, so it's really hard to identify things. Mm. Very rock. <laughs> 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 exactly. You I, Somebody was talking about you. I don't know, Windchime. I think we should head back. Okay, Moonzik. Okay, Moonzik. <laughs> We're far enough away from camp. I don't think anybody I heard know. us. What is this? What is this sneezing? It's Are you okay, Brian? I, I'm sneezing is I better diseasing. We're using so much black pepper in this recipe. I just got it in my nose. I'm sorry. Wait, you're using black pepper? Yes! Didn't you tell me that there was two tablespoons of black pepper? Nah, I'm just, I'm just playing. Pepper. I'm just playing, don't worry. You just, oh, oh, God. You just... <laughs> freaking terrified me. <laughs> I thought I'd ruin the whole dish. Um, you just hear an a animal scream, IT'S RAW! <laughs> John, what'd you say? You're very Exactly quiet. how I like it. Is is this better? Yes. Yes. Um, this uh, cow is so raw, I can hear it scream. Oh my god. Good lord. When I see them start cooking, I'm gonna walk up to them and hand them the rest of the uh, garlic that I saved from last time. Mm. Oh, this is perfect. I, is it perfect? Yeah, Let's you, pretend you, it's perfect. I would. <laughs> you were just saying that you needed uh, garlic and that we didn't have any. This is cool. Yeah. Honestly, why do you keep messing with me when it comes to this recipe? You tell me one thing, then you mess with me right after. <laughs> I feel like I'm being gassed that I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> 
Amogus? Okay. <laughs> Amogus? Who's gaslighting Somebody... who now? Somebody, either Brian or um, Animo, roll me something to tell me how good you do. Constitution save on him not eating. Constitution save. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No. Uh, what would the normal check be? Uh, survival, performance, survival, survival or performance. Both What's your modifiers? I I have a pretty good performance roll. It's, yeah, I'm not ahead. proficient, but you no, should. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. This is your recipe. Yeah, All but right. like survival's one, performance is zero. Fair enough. Uh, performance. Ugh. I can't roll right now. What was the roll? Uh, Do I get invented for having a recipe? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, that might save you. Might. All right. Might. <laughs> might. Very strong might. <laughs> oh, 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 that's a little better. Oh. That's a little better. That's a little better. I, yeah, what I was would it? say that. Not 20. We take These those. rolls are crazy today. Fucking, fucking roll 20 is all just low, fucking with Kale. All low <laughs> all, yeah, pretty all much. We've gotten a lot of nat 20s, but for the most part, it's been very low. Roll 20 is yeah, fucking 20. with Kale hardcore. <laughs> it wants to put me through the roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> that not um, what rolling dice is. They put the roll in roller coaster. You oh my God. describe to me the conclusion to this recipe. <laughs> so, this entire time, uh,. Animo is back there. He's reading uh, things out. Um, I'm, I'm like trying to follow along best I could. Garlic? We don't have any garlic. And at that point, I think the whole recipe is ruined. I like it's about to burn, and then cl in cl clutch comes uh, Soren with the rest of the wild garlic. <gasps> That's perfect. Ah. And. All of a sudden, the whole dish transforms with the power of garlic, butter, and uh, salt, and lemon juice from and somebody who pepper. luckily had a... And black pepper from somebody... <laughs> the lemons came from some other person. I just got really lucky. Um, and with the perfect life. direction from Animo. Um, perfect direction, you say? Perfect... It's One just the direction. perfect direction. <laughs> I don't know, you know, I'm talking about... He, he talking about really so many helped different out things. here. Um, Northwest. And we, uh... And in front direction. of everybody is... Uh, we, we can start slicing uh, uh, out snail. And it is delicious. Delicious. Amazing! Delicious stew. It's like suspicious uh, stew, but with none of the mystery. You see what? the old, uh, the old man dig in heartily, just like eating this with like a voracity of a of a, a starving animal. Um, he's very messy as he eats, and he looks up to you with like flail snail over his beard <laughs> and he gives you this like big cross-eyed smile as he goes up for seconds um and uh you see everybody is thoroughly enjoying themselves laughing and um enjoying the uh the cool fall night Woo! thank you so much animal for for that recipe it was Truly delicious. You two well, next time you find a delightfully terrifying creature that we kill. We're eating it. We're definitely eating it. You two have done a fantastic job with dinner tonight. Thank you very much. Okay. 
Would anybody else like to do anything? Um, so I have a question. Can I do the ritual tonight, or will the level up only trigger, um, after I complete a long rest? We can do it tonight. That's fine. Um, couple of things. Anybody else want to do anything while everybody is awake? Want to roll... Mm, I can't do it myself. I can't do this myself. Never mind. What would you like help with? You seem to want to do something. No, no, no. no. Unfortunately, I, I wouldn't be able to. This is this is a player. I don't. I, it doesn't make sense. Thing. Oh, okay. Okay. Everybody, um, other than. The Legati Company and Soren have made their way um, to rest for the night. A lot of you is still reeling a little bit from uh, the day's adventures. Um, you all are left to sit about, eat seconds if you so desired, um, and uh, talk about the anything that you want to talk about as a group, and then once you're done with that, um, planning for um, shifts. So was that twice we got caught completely with our pants down in there? What? But in the cave, was that what the you guys who see? Was both completely uh, surprised by uh, oh, that... the fact that there were monsters? Well, there were mushrooms. That's I really I mean, not the excuse. I was excuse. so intrigued and curious by the mushrooms, I got distracted from the fact that there was a giant thing behind it. Distraction aside, Edward, is the fact that that mine had a had quite a few monsters in there. Well, at least two large ones, it, that ball Hanath and that flail snail. And like, just to confirm, um, the mushrooms are, don't seem to be native to the area, right? Correct. They so are... weren't in the Underdark. Yeah, no, That's they right. they don't seem to be native to that area. Um, you were not in the Underdark, but you know that they are native to the Underdark. It's it's really strange because those mushrooms generally are typically found in the Underdark, which uh, this place is not. Oh, so we just ain't gonna talk about the fact that. Uh... We completely messed up, and we really need to be more attentive going into rooms. Myself included. I fucked up, too. I mean, what do you mean? I think we had that we... same The fact that we didn't look around our surroundings, and we got ambushed by a, a rather large monster. Snail snail? Heck, the we even got monster, uh, ambushed by a snail. How do you get ambushed by a snail? We didn't really get I mean, ambushed. We knew something was coming. At we that point. If they yeah, really Windchime warned us that something was coming. We weren't True. really Thank all that surprised. Thank you, Windchime. I was more about the fact that I was completely caught off guard, and without her warning, it would have been on top of me. Yeah, no problem. I saw the shadow, and I just knew that, like the last cavern we went into, it's just. We really need to start looking around when we walk into rooms. Speaking of that cavern previously, how are you doing? I'm coping. <laughs> what happened to you? I almost got eaten by a Sounds giant tentacle monster. Terrifying. Oh. Yeah, I was halfway in its mouth. I'm just glad it didn't have teeth. Or, like, the teeth didn't go into my body. Yeah, I'd be pretty... Yeah, yeah. I don't think Edward and I have performed first aid ever uh, any faster than that. Yeah, this situation was pretty dire. We're incredibly lucky... And happy to still have you with us, Windchime. 
Thank you guys for saving my life. Thank you for saving ours from diseases, from doing oh. stupid stuff. Yes. Oh, yes, and from being ambushed by a snail. That would have been a very embarrassing death. Yes. So, <laughs> that blue rot Thank you, too. That blue rot business back on Firewatch is dreadful as well. Ugh. You look bad for each other. Heck, I've been down a couple times with this company already. They've already uh, always got me right back up. <laughs> it really is. The roaring cows have gone to bed. <laughs> Why do they roar? <laughs> That's not normal, it's right? Pretty cow roared before up until now. It's just the breed of cow they are. <laughs> right, cow ceratops. Yes. It's also the, the way it's kind of shaped like that. I don't know. It, they've been... <laughs> oh, they're prehistoric. <laughs> <laughs> they've been around a long time. I mean, you'd expect domesticated cows to not be around for a long time on the basis that we do end up eating them, but why would we have them around for that long? I mean, I guess there's the milk bit like... That's kind of weird. Have you never heard of wild bovine before? These probably were recently uh, domesticated. Yeah, but like being prehistoric and all. They're weird. heritage breed. They're heritage breed? What? Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> probably just been like breeding them and taking care of them because like they're just so useful to have on a farm. Like. You I can't see. let that breed die out. Or no, that's that's completely <laughs> fair. It's just... It's really it's cool, that you, it's it's cool that you know that much about farming. Is that from your parents? <laughs> yep. I, I mean, I grew up around a bunch of farms. So. Right. Yeah, and like those... Uh, those types of cows, they just... They, you hear them all the time. Because they're in most of the fields. Because of their roar, they scare off predators. <laughs> oh, so it's a defense like tactic. Cows. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool! You know a lot about cows, Winchan. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> Lily saw the opportunity and fucking ran with this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> that is fantastic. I mean, in any case, um, do you think, I'm not really sure how we're going to manage tonight's watch. What do you guys think of all of this? Do you want to assign shifts again? And, you know. Well. Despite uh, my wandering into the forest, it seemed to work out decently in the end. Yeah, let's not wander off into the forest this time. <sighs> um, if no promises, if there sounds like crying children in the forest. Could I? Could I go? Uh... That is literally a tactic of an animal. Why would you? I mean, I suppose you do have. Just wake us up, alright? Especially if you're Clearly. really charging off. Next time, yes, I agree. Um, next time we do face some adversary <coughs> that could potentially kill us, give us a warning. I suppose. I, I mean, I suppose the fault partially lies down with me as well on the basis that I also did not warn anybody else. Yeah. Did not <laughs> well, despite all of that, we are still alive. We'll just, we'll just keep a, we'll just stay more vigilant. We're a young group. We'll, we'll make mistakes, but we'll learn from it as well. Yeah. Who has the highest perception? Passive. Probably 14. wind chime. Um. 
I think it's actually me. I think it's you. I have yeah, that makes sense. I have a 17. Jesus! Oh yeah, that, that beat yeah. Me to type. So... You... See... A... A person... A humanoid step out of the uh, out of the forest. It appears to have a big backpack and a uh, and some sort of mask on. It's got a white mask with three little holes on it. They're probably no taller than a halfling, um, with uh, a couple of uh, twigs of branches. Um, sticking out in weird, precarious positions, like I'd been walking through Bramble. Um, and it walks up to your fire. And you notice it first. So, by the way, as it wa approaches, do you say or do anything? Um, I'm going to... Uh, Imagine after having this conversation. <laughs> Trying to think if this is a good idea or not. Um, with like a big backpack and. I'm gonna ask. I'm just gonna turn to them and be like, um, "Hello, what what can we do for you? And who are you, most importantly?" And I'm gonna ready an action to fairy fire them. Okay. Oh. You see the uh, the creature stop. Its head kind of cock a little bit. Left, right, right, left, left, right, left, left, right. Just bro, kind of what shaking. fucking combo are you trying to do? Left, right, <laughs> Dude. Just, right, just kind of like shaking. Down, with his neck. Just kind of shaking its head a little bit, oh. and you hear you hear a. Um, a faint, almost wind chime sound. Um, <laughs> you recognize that it seems Hello? to be coming from the way that the air enters the holes in its face. That's a and it appears sprint. to have some sort of, like, ability to control the tones that it is able to create by based off of how um, it cocks its head. I want to whistle back the exact same tone tones. You hear a... A, a fast shaking, like a almost that of a pair of maracas. I don't know how I'm gonna imitate that. Um. <laughs> Performance. By the way, you all now see this happening. Uh, I'm... <laughs> you can't not recognize what. What the happened. fuck? I am going to cast fairy fire. Uh. Just no, please don't. Are you sure please, about this? Please don't. It's, it doesn't do any damage. It would just light him up. It literally like, does. Him. It does not I'm do asking, any damage. I'm asking you, are you sure about this? Please don't. Can I roll inside on the DM? Can I? You can I? roll inside on the DM. Please. Roll inside on the DM. Inside <laughs> on your character. 18. <laughs> 18. Um... Eight, with an 18, you have a feeling that this is not a hostile creature. Then I won't. Some sort of, some sort of fae spirit. Okay, then I will not. Have you... Dawn, have you never seen uh, Studio Ghibli films? I've, I've seen a few, but I have not seen all of them. I'm working my way towards all of them. <sighs> I've only seen, it's like, two change. or three. I yeah, I've got a friend who owns all of them, so I'm slowly making What's, my way through them all. Is it is this is it Princess not Mononoke? I'm thinking of. It depends. I don't know. There's well, a couple. You know there's a there's a couple. There's a there's a there's <laughs> a, a the main This is a this is a normal like no this is a reoccurring thing. Oh right. Um, in Princess in Princess Mononoke in My Neighbor Totoro, right, um, in Spirited uh, Away. Oh it's yep. in Sp oh okay. I might That's I might know then. You just said you had never watched any of the studio. You said he watched. I said I've watched a few, and they're only the mainstream ones. I've seen. I've seen Halloween Castle, Spirited Away, and Kiki's Delivery Service. Okay. 
In mm-hmm. either way, after the shaking of the maracas, that the noise it seems to make, it comes by and sits at your fire. I will offer it some food. Um, again, you hear that the, the those chimes and the uh, uh, and the sound of maracas as, as it takes the bowl of food, reaches back to its bag, and pulls out a um, a, a small a small berry. Oh, I is it offering it or? To give it, giving it to you. Oh, I will try the berry. It is a good berry. Oh. So as you eat it, you are fully nourished after already being fully nourished. You do yeah. not need sustenance for twenty-four hours. Okay. So I don't and need you get once healing tomorrow. effects. Mm-hmm. I am at full I... health. <laughs> yep. But you notice it doesn't eat the bowl. It puts it in its backpack. The whole bowl. Okay. <laughs> that's that's fine. <laughs> Thank you. On the maracas again. Gentle chimes. What brings you here? Again, you hear the ding, 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 ding of chimes going across. It cocks its head right, left, right, 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 left, left. Mm. Right, left. I have an, I have a weird idea as well. Um, Please. I'm not, I'm not going to give it any food, but I do have a shell necklace from the first session that we had. I want to take okay. that, and I want to, and I want to put it around his neck. Oh, uh, you hear as you as you, you know gently approach him and put it around his neck. He vibrates again, reaches back into his bag, and he pulls out a uh, a small gemstone. It looks to be topaz. Oh, worth probably twenty five gold. Fuck yeah. I whisper. I whisper to Moonsick. So what's the deal? Do we just give that thing things and it gives us something back? It's. I'm down for that trade. <laughs> as long as you have something. I'm not sure how to necessarily explain this, but um. Something befitting its personality. It like a gift of sorts, and then we'll give you a gift back. It's uh. Not necessarily of higher value. Not necessarily okay, of higher music, value. I would like to remind you that this is really weird. <laughs> you hear it. I feel like I feel like y'all are kind of are kind of moving past the fact that it it, it can't speak. It's giving us gifts like uh, a Nemo. It's a forest sprite. Wait. First off, this is one of the nicest kinds of creatures in the Feywild, and they're fairly common, so don't call it weird. Second, Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Secondly, um, we're a little weird, and we're some of the best people I know. You especially. Yeah, well, I didn't mean to to cause any 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 kind of disappointment or disrespect, perhaps. You hear the sound of chimes and the wind blow through its face holes. You hear chimes and wind. <laughs> Feel like you got that order of backwards. A little bit. I set it on fire. No, I don't do that. <laughs> no! I said I don't do that. What do you have there? A knife! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Flashbacks to when Gungus tried to light shit on fire and Mercy would immediately snuff out the flame. 
wind chime pulls out a squeaky horn that she got from the circus. And okay. I'll do the sprite. Um, the sprite takes that, puts it in the bag, and uh, pulls out a um, a a small horn. It's like an actual horn that you could blow into. Oh, like it's this is this is before the long rest, right? Yes. Yep. I I want to offer it some oh, I don't know if I should do that I was going to turn into a, a half winter and give it some of my hair but like, like I feel like that's not the vibe <laughs> no not quite. No. Uh, I am going to hand it my now defunct, because I no longer need it, but it's still completely useful. Arcane Focus. The one on the crystal necklace. Okay. It, uh... Hold on, let me see something real quick. Okay, while she's, while she's doing that, if y'all knew what the creature was, why did you not share with the class? I... Animo, given that you've lived in, you've lived in the forest for quite some time... No, I'm talking, I'm talking to, I'm talking to the, the players. Oh, as in, okay, Oh, the players? We need no clue. And they, Animo, what? This is not <laughs> true, though. Because when I said something, y'all were like, yeah, it's this thing. Animal we, we figured probably it would have known. I we we had could... Quinn doesn't. So so here's the thing. As players, we had no clue. We're guessing and we're running with our role play. This is a this is a made up creature. This yeah. is not. Okay. There's no way we could have known. In oh, fact, we're... it's it's very made yeah. up. Even with like the what it's based off of, it's still. A made-up creature, yeah. right? Like, yeah, it's... like, my first thing was maybe a Chewinga, but the... the which fuck is you an just actual call me? Thing. No. <laughs> That's a real creature, by the way. It's I a know, real creature, know, it's I an know, elemental, it's described fairly similarly, it gives out gifts, much like this one, when you're friendly with it. Um, but it's different in other ways. Yeah, give me um, your... it, yeah. it pulls out for from its bag a potion of healing. Oh shit! Nice. Um, can I hand it? I uh, bow to it respectfully and say, "Thank you very much, friend." I'm gonna dig into my bag. I'm gonna pull out the jar of the uh, glowing mushroom that we got in the, or that I got in the cave. I would like to give that to them. Okay. It uh, puts that back in there in its bag, and. Let me just make sure that this is what I wanted it to be. It, uh... Pulls out a, a potion vial and hands it to you. Empty? No, full. And I don't it know is that. it is full of a uh, yellowish liquid that appears to have some sort of eyeball floating in it. I love that. Going, I'm gonna very carefully put that in my bag, looking a little disgusted, oh, but I'm going to oh. thank it and bow and take my seat again. I wanna give it. I wanna. It okay I wanna look it? at my. Excuse me. I would like. Um, <laughs> as, as as everybody is like giving, exchanging gifts uh, with this weird secret Santa. Can Let's I go ahead prepare... and actually go with what Quinn was saying. And then we can talk about what you would like, okay? Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Because you, Te Quinn did start speaking first, so that's what I'm gonna go with. Yeah. Uh, I just want, I just wanted to, to, to take out the stuffed animal of a pan of a white panther. Kind of like look at it. Kind of look a little sad. Kiss it, and then hand it to the tree thing. <laughs> Oh. I think uh, I think that I can come to terms with myself without this. Oh. It also hands you a potion. This potion it, it appears to be in is in a small vial. It is uh, blue and it's bubbles and steams if it's as if it's boiling. Ooh. This is very interesting. Thank you. Rocky. Oh, um, as everyone's like handing over gifts and exchanging them, uh, is it okay if I try to like go look at my spellbook to prepare detect thoughts? Sure. Tell me... Are you ca are you preparing it? Are you classing it? Cl yeah, I'm like. gonna cast it. Um, and I'm only gonna go for, like, surface level thoughts on this creature. Um, you... The surface level co thoughts that you get from the creature are, um... How does detect thoughts work on different languages? You can read the thoughts of certain creatures. Initially, you learned this. Well, thoughts don't necessarily have to. No, I don't think it has to be in a different language. Yeah, I I'm gonna go with that. Um, then uh, you get. Um, the the sense of fulfillment i think that that is like the biggest thing like it, it doesn't necessarily have tangible thoughts as i don't think and i think you wouldn't understand that it doesn't process things in the same way uh but it is a sense of fulfillment and there is a serenity that emanates from it as if it has the complete confidence in the entire world. Hmm. Uh, I'd like to have the complete confidence. Honestly. Yeah, don't we, <laughs> don't we all? I'm gonna pull out... I have this in my bag. I don't know why I have it in my bag. Necklace covered in shark teeth. Okay. And as I'm handing it over, I'm gonna, like, detect its surface level thoughts towards it. Um... You receive. Sorry. <laughs> Are you consulting a table? Is there like a table yep. of all the items we own? By uh, the table of all the items they own? Uh, I'm consulting a table right now, yes. Um... Don't look behind the screen, Rocky! Come on, man! I'd love this encounter. Can I just say? It's so There's a neat. cat behind my screen. It's so wholesome. Um... Thank you. Oh, wholesome. I'm just like imagining some really terrible things happening. <laughs> it's so wholesome. The, t the the creature takes all of the items that you gave it, spits them back out, gets really really mad, and rummages through your inventory. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> rummages through your inventory. You can do nothing to stop this. There are no spell oh, checks. Oh, so this is just the fucking. <laughs> The creature of Fallout, <coughs> where it can just run through your inventory, plant a grenade, and run away. Uh, 
You <laughs> hand it that, and it hands you bla- back um, a um, a gold locket um, oh. with a portrait inside. Oh. What's the portrait of? Weirdly, Joao. Oh. Who? Joao. He was the tiefling. Oh. Joao. <laughs> um, he was the tiefling boy that you guys were on the island with in the first session. He was the one in that the we first session? saved, right? Mm-hmm. Not the one that died? Yeah, he was... He was saved, yeah. How the fuck? Oh. This is weird. Um, I smile, thankfully, uh, and I look at the portrait in perplexion. Why would it have something, like, I'm just thinking to myself, why would it have something of this? Where would it get it, and why would it have it? This is peculiar. Um, I guess if we're going to continue handing things, um, this is. Man, this is weird. Why would it have a portrait of Joelle? Okay, I'm going to hand it uh, Sorry. Go ahead. Oh. Uh, another thing, I'm going to hand it a... Uh, charcoal and herbs and incense. Just one of it. Okay. It hands you back... Um, a... A couple of sheets of nice paper. And... Ink. Hey. Yay. Yay. This is <laughs> odd. Um. Really weird. <laughs> Edward, we were just asked. I was just, I was just like loudly told not to call it weird. No, I'm thinking to myself. What a wonderful world. Would anybody yeah, else like to weird. give a gift? Where's that dragon egg? A book about cleaning clutter. <laughs> Are you going to give it that? What? Are you giving it that? Yeah. I mean, at this point, I'm trying to, like, figure out if there's a pattern. Um. Okay. Why am I... What was it you gave again? One more time. Where's that dragon egg? A book about cleaning clutter. It okay. hands you back a book that tells, uh, that tells a story, at least flipping through it, of a uh, um, of a legendary hero's rise and fall, but the last chapter has been torn out. What's it called? Um, I swear to God. It is called... The Heroes of Theseus. <laughs> the Heroes of Theseus. That is not Yes! <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you. Oh, oh. Damn. The last chapter's ripped out. We don't know. Well, I mean, I love a good piece of literature. Um, uh, I want to give it the... Fifty Shades of Grey knockoff. I don't think I'm gonna read it, y'all. 
Um, it hands you a um, an a. I could. I could. Just like wondering if she wants to give me like bondage devices or like actually have something. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was think. Okay. Um, With leather lined handcuffs. You get. Um. Ball gag. I mean, what? <laughs> Hold person. <laughs> a fucking cat tail. That's also a butt plug. No! <laughs> this is terrible. You all are terrible. <laughs> all terrible. Um. There's no idea what to do with this knockout. No, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'll, you, you're gonna get a length of fifty foot of rope. All right, all right, like, all it, right. It's, it's, good, good play. It's gonna work. It's it's gonna be what it's gonna be because I can't come up with anything better. What did you get for the give for the rope? A book. Man, a specific so book, so book to, like Fitch something connected with, like you know, an item within the same oh instance that you've that. But now I'm not sure. Would anybody else like to make an exchange? No, I will stop taxing its resources and be content with what I have. Going once? I'm good. Um, I guess so. <laughs> Going twice? Yeah, like a, I have a bunch of things. Aww. Well, then um, make a decision and do it. Uh, I'm going to hand it. Okay. Progressing more valuable things. This time it's going to be a disguise self spell scroll. Oh. I was going to get it, but like we already have disguise self on two people. <laughs> um, what are you talking wait. about? Okay. Hold on. This just does. Let me pull this up here. Yeah, we're going with magical items now. This is literally a gotcha game. This is literally. <laughs> I'm seeing, I'm trying to see if this thing has, like, is it of legendary value? You get six no, legendary not le cards. No, not value. I'm, I'm thinking, like, does this thing, like, is there a reason for what this thing gives over other things? We don't know. Or is it literally random? If well, literally I think, I think the amount that has something to do with it could either just be the fact that the DM has the ability to, to connect things with other things, whereas, you know, like, I mean, I got a, I got a rand, I got like a potion for giving a stuff's cat away. I mean, it had emotional connections, but. Yeah. I mean, this one like, has monetary value, not quite sentimental value, monetary I, value. Right? I got a rock. <laughs> I got a potion with an eyeball. I got. It. Hey, that's I think that's like a potion of true seeing, probably something like that. Potions are good. This is potions not really doing good. what I needed to do. I'm gonna make it um very obvious when I do end up drinking that potion, or when someone does, I'm going to force them to make a con save. Just because they have to swallow an eyeball. What? I'm sorry, I totally forgot. What did you give me? I'll scroll of disguise self. Okay. It yeah, hands you... It, 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 
Um, this is a lot difficult, more difficult to do on the spot than I thought it would be. And, and she went through her. Went her. A tough, tough went through. Her. Um. It hands you a ring. Is it a ring of disguise self? It is a ring. Just a regular ring. It is a ring. It's a ring. It's a ring. You don't know. I sure would like to. He says. <laughs> Maybe you can cast a spell slot without waiting for ten minutes. Maybe you don't know. It's almost like uh, Edward has identify or something. Oh my god. Yeah, I will have to identify. Um, this is weird. <laughs> uh, potion of water breathing. I'm gonna hand him that. Okay. Items of progressively higher value. Probably. <laughs> this is just it an experiment. It hands you back a uh, a small pouch of some sort of dust. At this point, is it dust of invisibility? Or powder? You don't, you don't know. Stop! Sorry. At <laughs> at this point, this is Edward's way of one performing an experiment and two gambling. I can't. <laughs> like a gotcha, it's a yeah, gacha pawn machine. That's what I was Except saying. The currency yep. that you give is random items. This is so weird. <laughs> God damn it! It's, uh, it's undeniable that this is weird. This is undeniable, but I can't stop. Uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> stop I'm gonna before you change your spell book. I'm gonna continue handing it things until it, someone stops me. Uh, okay, um... uh, I'm gonna hand it. Um, Edward, I feel like you're handing a lot of things over to this. Are you sure that you're willing to find a consistent pattern for something? I feel like the only consistent time. pattern is where it comes from. No, I mean, every you time know? we've handed it a consumable item, it's been giving us a consumable item back in some capacity. That's not true. You handed that it a consumable awesome. item, and you got back a ring. That ring might have like a one- I thing. handed it a arcane focus, and it handed me a potion. That's it true. likes Could not be spreading fulfillment, and when you are fulfilled, you stop. That's true, I suppose we should practice some contentness. As you guys no longer hand it to any more things, it sits there with you for just a few more minutes, staring off, shimmering the light, uh, um, the light breeze entering its face holes and chimes. Um, and even sometimes, you know, you hear the, the shaking of the maracas. When in a wisp, right in front of you, a gust of wind comes, and it disappears. You all feel like... You all feel very fulfilled, and filled with determination. <laughs> yeah. And um, for the next 24 hours, you all have a plus one to all ability and nice. saving throws. Nice. Ability checks and nice. Wow, that's oddly fulfilling. <laughs> um, right? I'm filled with determination. As it disappears, uh, Soren is gonna whisper 
some things, and he's gonna say safe travels. You all are welcome to uh, go about your night watches. You can each choose who you want your pairs to be with. And uh, you are welcome if you would like to roleplay with each other in throughout the night. Um, and I want to your... bask with Windchime in the moonlight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not weird. Edward, would you like to do a uh, watch together? Oh, why not? I mean, that would be nice. Soren, I we don't necessarily have to stay up for a watch, but it looks like I'll be only the only one. Yes, I wouldn't mind. I don't want to leave you out alone, just in case something happens. I won't leave you out to the wolves. <laughs> <laughs> You can see him taking it's first watch. I I'm gonna whisper to him. It won't be as fun as target practice. <laughs> Wait, to me or <laughs> to to you? To you. <laughs> He's gonna smirk and nod. I will miss that. Okay, who's first? What pair is first? I guess I'll go first. Yeah. Okay, I guess we're okay. first. Edward and Windchime. Not Windchime. <laughs> wow! I've been yeah, saying a lot of Windchime lately. Uh, <laughs> your name, it's just so... It's so mouth. similar. <laughs> it's so similar to Brian. Chimes and... Brian. And, and Brian, you know? It's just... <laughs> mm -hmm. Um... Mm -hmm. Whoops. Roll me a couple of um, perception checks. And my computer shut down again, so you have to tell me over there. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, that's a 17. Okay. Including the plus one? 18. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and that is a 20. 20. Nice. Okay. Um, go ahead and, and are you guys planning on role-playing? Uh, question sticks. Is this when I would do the ritual, or would I get to do that early morning with everybody around? It is up to you. I'd like to do that early morning with everyone around. Okay. It's a beautiful night tonight. Pardon? I said it was a beautiful night tonight. Oh, yeah, with a nice, fulfilling breeze and the gentle birds. <laughs> <laughs> and the nice, fulfilling, starry night sky. You're still thinking about the bride, yeah? I mean, yeah, it's it's so perplexing and baffling. I I can't. But, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm contented with a good mystery. Right? Sometimes things are more interesting with a mystery. Don't you think? Yeah, sometimes. I mean, I'm under the firm believer uh, of the philosophy that virtue does not come from ignorance. I agree. Uh, I am not part of the cobalt soul for nothing, but... but I don't know. Not That's for mystery, that would the seek for knowledge continue? It's kind of like adventure. We don't want her to be monsters, but... If there were no monsters, we'd be out of a job, all of us. Oh yeah, if we were, if, if, literally, if there were no monsters, then we're basically glorified Tomb Raiders. Right? I mean, we already are glorified. Most adventuring, including us, I'm not saying we're, we pardon from this. I'm sorry, I, I have not, I have not raided any tombs. Have you? Something about taking a statue from a statue way back in... That was not a doom. It was still basically something of significance towards a fate. Not that of your own. Prefer under new management. Jesus. Still stealing, nonetheless. True. But, you know. 
I mean, ethics have been <laughs> Oh? I Think mean, a Nemo can speak that? Right, he's a panther, not a wolf. So weird that I keep thinking he's a wolf. Yeah, it's just because the most common. I mean, most people associate lycanthropy with being a wolf because that's the most common form. Right? Super cool that we have a wanther. Yeah. I mean, it's it's fascinating for the topic. I'm not quite familiar with the particular sort of intricacies or details surrounding it, but I would like to look into it some time if we ever do get access towards any knowledge or information or anything pertaining to that. Yeah. You think that should be our next topic of research? Whenever no. we sit down in a dusty library. I think... I think for once we just let him deal with what he wishes to deal with. And if he wants our help, we help him. But he can ask. He's been, been pretty cool about that. I mean, for me, it's not about doing it for him. It's more about being curious on my end. Sometimes I feel like it's just prying into his own personal stuff. Which I love to do, don't get me wrong. It's... Also, on that topic, I am a little sorry that I just kind of put you in such a hard situation when we started. Or when I joined the group, rather. I mean... No need to apologize for that. I, I think, I personally think it was for the better. I know I'm not particularly good with people. I mostly deal with my words more than people. Uh, and for most of my childhood, I mostly sat home reading alone. See, that's the thing about the company of books is that... Um, they're always with you, no matter what mood you're in, and no matter... They don't have an off time, they don't need to be doing their own thing, they're always just there, and I feel like seeking refuge in that is something nice in its own, right? We really just went to from talking about feelings to books really quick there. You are not comfortable <laughs> with feelings, are you? I mean, I wouldn't say I'm not comfortable with feelings, I'm saying that I'm not well attuned towards my feelings. I made the joke. Laugh. See? You're not good, at, <laughs> not good with people. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now I'm teasing you. Do I just have to spell out everything I do? Roll an insight check on that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, we're all. Uh, <laughs> it is a genuine question. She is wondering whether, uh, for you to get hints, she's gonna have to, uh, she's gonna have to spell them out. Edward still doesn't know what she's referring to because <laughs> knowing that she needs to spell it out or not is not actually what she's trying to spell out, so... Oh my god! Uh, he's gonna shake his head and, like, yeah. No? Alright. I, mean, I don't really sure what you're referring to. Wait, I'm asking in general! No? Alright. I'm... I don't know, I'm not really good with people. <laughs> All that thing is. To me. <laughs> Mutters. Me trying to figure out if this is a Rocky problem or an Edward problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna respond. Uh, I'm not good with people to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as Rocky. But as Edward, yeah. I can say it in an Edward voice. 
I'm not really good with people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Damn. <laughs> Just walks off muttering under her breath. <laughs> Motherfucker is lucky he's cute. <laughs> Ship. Ship. Shit! <laughs> there ain't nothing hey. going on up here! Everybody. <laughs> um, the rest of your shift pass passes quickly and without event. Who is in shift two? Uh, that can be Soren and Moonsick. Okay. Roll me some perception checks. Hey, I'll take a 19. Well, Anyone. fuck you! <laughs> Actually, you got a 20. <laughs> yeah, Soren's got like an absurd unreasonably high. It was it, we got a twenty and a twenty one. Um you have to one up me, all right. damn it. Are you guys going to partic <laughs> participate in any roleplay or no? So I've gotta ask because I'm incredibly curious. What was your deal with that man that day we met you? To be honest, I'm not quite sure what the deal was. He wouldn't really tell me. What were you trying to do? I was just trying to make my way around town. Just, you know, spend some time here and there. Hmm. Waiting for when we left. You said you're going to Nico Dronis to look for something or someone. Yes, I'm going to... Melora's Lighthouse, I believe it is called. Any idea what it is that you're trying to find there? No. I'm pretty much just going to sightsee. I've heard a lot of things about it, and it sounds like a beautiful place. I see. I've been to Necodronas quite a few times, but I don't believe I've visited that lighthouse before. That's what Brian said as well. Must be something to pass up, huh? I'm not <laughs> entirely sure. I've um, I've been to Nicodranas, not necessarily on um, sightseeing, you could say, more on business. Oh. I guess. I'm just trying to get a feel for you, because no offense to you, but the last person that we brought on as a would-be companion kind of barged their way on. I just So I heard. I just like to get a feel for what, what to expect is all. Not that I don't trust you. But, um... In my experience, there's not really too many people that I can trust. Brian is the lowest amongst them. <laughs> <laughs> not, not necessarily, because you've provided your own insight and thoughts on it. Well, well, whilst, uh, for the most part, uh, concealing Moon Six's secrets. Mm -hmm. I can understand that. I, too, have some people that went, I guess you could say, went against me. But moving on to maybe a little brighter topics, you guys said, or, sorry, not brighter, but where you guys are heading, you guys said Allfield, correct? That's correct. Um, Windchime, her parents are in some dire straits at the moment. 
been, from the sounds of things, they've been in dire straits for quite a while. There's... not sure how, how many there are, but there's a group of gnolls there that has been terrorizing that uh, area for some time. I hope that we could be of assistance. I'm thinking that once we get there, we should be able to lend a hand. You said you were going to tag along with us then? If you don't mind having me, that is. No, I don't mind at all. I usually am not... Well, while I'm, while I'm distrusting, I do... As, as Edward said, the more the merrier. I do like to make new friends and... You know, grow the list of people that I can trust. And you seem... You seem pretty trustworthy. As I'm glad to hear that. Having gone through some hardships and experiences yourself, I imagine that you could always use a friend as well. Everyone could use a friend now and then. I agree. I'm glad I ran into such a great group. <laughs> well, we are a young oh. group. <laughs> God damn, the cows are roaring again. <laughs> the <laughs> the <cow>! <laughs> that was <laughs> not <laughs> That was not a <laughs> cow. No. <laughs> God damn. Well. Oh we <laughs> We oh, snow. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> uh for oh, no. you you Dawn. Hola. You look off into the woods in the middle of this kind of conversation and kind of look and glance and you notice know, one tree in particular stands out in that it, it looks like it had had at some point in time claw marks in it but has since been healed over. Um, I'm gonna not take my eyes off of it. I'm just gonna like analyze it and look it up and down. Look around it a little bit. Does it smell like wolf urine? Has it been marked by territory? <laughs> is it a... Is it a wanther? Is it wanther claws? No, I think this is just a regular wolf. Where would we find a panther here? <laughs> Can I look at the moon? Roll me... Well, yeah, look at the you moon. You don't know that he's a <laughs> wanther? <laughs> no, um, the moon appears to be. Oh, we're doing it. Waxing. Waxing. Becoming full. It's the waxer. Yep. No. Waning. Waning. <laughs> waning. Okay. waning. Going and away from waxing. Nearly on a wane off. Is, um, no, it's waning it the walk. Nearly a full. It is nearly a new moon. God, I hate Waxing. that movie. And Wait. you do, ooh, ooh, additionally, because <laughs> I can now because I know a little bit more about it. Um, earlier, I may have mentioned previously that in passing that Alexandria has two moons. And I wasn't sure what I was going to do about that. Uh -oh. But it had nothing to do with lycanthropy. There is, in fact, a second moon in the sky. A nice red moon um, there. Um... Existing, it's normal. It's called Ruidus. Mm -hmm. oh. It's normal. <laughs> it, it's As normal. someone who watched Cab Three, it's it is very not, not normal. <laughs> but it is not no full. It is. It is not full by any means. It's just there in the sky. Like does normal. it also affect lycanthropy? Like if it's not full, but the other moon, like no. if that moon is full, does no. it? It does not affect lycanthropy. So it's only the first moon. It's Half just moon. red. It's just Cat it's just a little red sliver of a moon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Rudis yeah. does not affect Katha. Does. Yes. Thank you, nerd. 
Can you <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine if we got a double full moon and the dead effect the lycanthropy? Fuck. Oh god. Bing. Yeah, uh, that'd be kind of it's weird. It's time for me to have a status effect for nighttime. I just become a larger Wanther. <laughs> I'm bigger. Wanther plus. I this summon a larger and larger dog. It's, oh no, it's bigger jaws. <laughs> We're gonna need a. It'll come mode. in says IP address months. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yes, it is a waning moon on both ends. So it's a waning crescent, crescent then? Yeah. It's a waning croissant. <laughs> croissant! 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 What is wrong with all of us? I, I don't know, I'm ha I was having fun roleplaying. <laughs> having a good time. Um, Speaking of which, you asked me to roll something, or you were going to ask yeah. me to roll something? Yeah! A nature check. Nature, nature, nature. Uh, my plus one, let's go. Cool. Um. <laughs> That's wrong. Yeah, you don't, you don't know what would have caused that, but clearly it's been healed. So, yeah, you're not sure what would have caused those claw marks, but it has been healed. Over. It was pretty old. You'll ever see a bear in need of a scratching um, Alright, you guys can continue. I'm sorry I interrupted. I didn't expect that to take as long as it did. I was just originally howling. That was... <laughs> sorry. Oh! Tries to add flavor, ruins entire session. <laughs> 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 uh, 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 Tries to add flavor, over seasons it. Yeah. No, that was that was good. You see a reflection in the pool. I would like to investigate the reflection. Fuck, 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 me. fuck, fuck. <laughs> There is a nice mist remember, like, that is uh, <laughs> rolling over the field. Specify that he wouldn't take his eyes off it. I'd like to roll for acrobatics to investigate the mist. No. <laughs> what? That was the running joke that we had. <laughs> okay. Any any whoosies. Yeah. Go ahead and continue role playing. Yeah, so like I said, we're uh, a rather younger group of adventurers, but we've got um, quite a bit of experience, and um, I suppose we're uh, pretty well. We have a pretty we're pretty good when it comes to communicating with each other. Does I have a very quick question? No. Does he know your name is Moonzik? No. Nope. Or does he just know Cheem? Okay. Yeah. I only know Cheem so far. I'm no dropping- clue. I've been- I've dropped the fact that we're a younger group now a couple times. Yeah. Yeah, I'm aware. But he is currently, um, occupied with something else, so he hasn't really picked up on that. Ah. Yeah, he's staring at that claw mark on the tree. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I'm sorry. What were, what were we talking about? <laughs> Are you asking as a character or as a player? No, no. We went off on the whole tangent, and then we got me rolling nature, and I totally lost where we were. No, oh, I'm just. Wait. Sorry. Like no, you're fine. Making small talk, essentially. Uh. -uh. If you don't mind me asking, where do you, um, reside? Well, for a while I've lived in Phaelin. Wait a minute. Yeah. So, after we finish everything in Phaelin, um, if you're coming with us, you'll get a chance to, um, you'll get a chance to see my home. Well, I need to make a stop there. Oh. Can I ask why? Or is that more of a personal thing? No. I actually got a... On our uh, way back from the sea, I got a letter from a friend of mine. A uh, person I live with, actually. Making sure that I'm um, still alive. And making sure that I'm taking care of myself. 
I only thought it fair to return the favor by showing up in person. Tell them that I'm doing all right. So you didn't respond to their letter ahead of time? It's not uncommon for me to be unable to respond for some time. So no, I haven't. Which may make me kind of a rude friend, but... I mean, it's the thought that counts. You are paying them a visit. I'm sure if they are asking about you, they'd be happy to see you. I'm sure he'll be absolutely thrilled to see me. The is over? <laughs> oh. Works for you as in, I don't need to buy more. Someone's in trouble. <laughs> I don't think uh, in trouble is. <laughs> <laughs> um. We'll be making stops in Phelan. Making stops in Nicodranas. And then after Nicodranas, we're in it for the long haul to Allfield. Unless uh, something at right? Nicodranas stops us. Um, or unless we have to wait for... Or unless something goes wrong with our ship, in, the, in which case they'll meet us at Nekodronos. What is... okay. But I don't believe... They're, they're a pretty seasoned group of sailors. I don't think they should have too many troubles. That's will be quite the track from Nico Jonas to Allfield. It will be. Mm, about a month or so. And we'll be in the Dundalian. I'm not looking forward to that. Um You have a problem with the Empire? You could say that, yes, but um it's more like they have a problem with me. Oh. Uh, can I do a quick sweep of the thing? Yeah. Just a quick look around. As I'm Roll an that. investigation check. Or are you doing perception or investigation? Are you uh, getting up and looking for something? Or are you just doing a vibe check? I'm just doing a vibe check, yeah. Perception. Roll vibe. Bro, that's gonna be a thing in some version of D&D in the future. <laughs> uh, 17? Uh, yeah. you... You see nothing out of the ordinary around you. Except for that marked tree. Um, I'm going to point towards it and say... Do you see that tree there? It looks like it's been clawed quite a while ago. It caught my eye a little bit ago. Is it worrying you? Just because of the howling. As long as the howling stays at a distance, I don't see any reason to panic too much. I can agree with that, yes. And were you going to answer his question? Or are you avoiding it? Cool question. Was, was I being asked the question? No, Soren was about the oh, relationship with the Dwindalian oh, Empire. Yeah, no, I, I should have avoided that. Um... If that's what you were trying to do, that's fine. I just yeah. wasn't sure. It was so smooth, even the DM thought it might have been a mistake. <laughs> the DM had to roll insight. Insi DM rolling insight. Roll on insight player. on the player. I would if my computer was turned off. <laughs> you win this round. <laughs> what are the DM's modifiers? Plus 20 to everything. Pretty much. 
No, it's a nat crit every time. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Rolls for attack on a player. Rocks fall, you all die. <laughs> right? I uncanny moon, dodge infinite damage. The moon falls from the Reduce sky and hits infinite. exactly where you're sitting, nowhere else. Ruidus gleans red in the sky. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> is, it, is it giving us the, like, ding, red the eye? <laughs> No. For some reason, um, the the moon con seems to be brighter than it was before, and larger, <laughs> and, and also oh. less waxed. <laughs> yes, it, it appears to be more weight. Oh, you know, full. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But you um. just said I know what I just said. Roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Rapidly approaching. <laughs> fuck! 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 <laughs> Against what? The moon. <laughs> oh God! The okay, moon. okay. Not my George Mass, you please. What I learned in Moon Jujutsu. Anything, <laughs> anything you know else that you two would like to talk about? Well, if you're going to be traveling with us, I do want to discuss something with you while we have a moment alone. But if you're with us, you have to promise that you will not tell anyone outside this party. I... I do. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Wind chime. Ceremony! <laughs> <laughs> you mean bride? I did not take ceremony, for the record. Okay. <laughs> what Damn did you it. take? We have to wait for a long rest. Um... My name... Cheem is not my real name. In fact, this form that you see in front of you, this old man, is not my true form. Is that so? Mm. It's a bit complicated to describe the kind of magic that I have, and he's kind of like whispering this to him, like keeping it down as hushed as he can. But... I'll show you my true form, and then I'll, then I'll change back after a moment. Okay? Of course, but if you don't feel comfortable, we can always wait until a later date. Music, or er, yeah, Cheem's gonna make a quick look around to make sure that, like, all the, like, tent flaps are closed and everything, and, like, I don't it, mm -hmm. see if nobody is listening You're, in you on appear to be You appear to be alone. Okay. I think... A little insight on the appear to be? Uh, no, we're fine. <laughs> I th think... They are alone for narrative see. reasons. I think we're good here, so let's... I'll, I'll be alright. And w w seemingly with a gust of wind uh, s swirling around him, uh, he shows the true form as... Uh, this five foot ten man with uh, slightly tan skin and uh, black hair with uh, I don't know I'm not going to describe the clothing but with uh, oh my god it's kale <laughs> <laughs> no idea how like closely you designed this character to kale Bennett though like like it's it's fucking ridiculous <laughs> my name is actually Moonzik Mirai. My name is actually Kale Bennett. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm a Super Saiyan from Planet Namek. My name out. is. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> My name is. What? My name is Moonzik Mirai. Who? <laughs> Motherfucker! Moonzik waka waka Mirai. waka waka. Moonzik Mirai. In the distance, as you feel the need to repeat yourself. <laughs> That's right. But oh. as long as I'm traveling in that uh, disguise, please continue to call me Cheem. To be honest, it might already be a habit. Well, that could. There are worse habits, I suppose. Mm. I could be alright. 
But in any case, I better change back. And again, with the same wind effect, he changes back into the older, uh, older man. Makes cape billow out dramatically as an action directly afterwards. <laughs> he does. He did that. <laughs> he did that uh, while transforming back to Moonzek as well as going back to Jim. Okay. <laughs> I'm. I'm just glad you feel comfortable sharing this with me. Well, if you're going to be traveling with us, it's going to come out sooner or later. Better. Roll me. Oh. I'm so sorry. Go ahead. Roll me a history check, please, Soren. That's a sixteen. With a sixteen. The form that he was in before looks vaguely familiar. Oh no. Oh. It just looks familiar. Like you've definitely. It wasn't so much the form that he was directly in. It was more almost like you could see something in between. But it's only this vague feeling. Um. Then with that, um, when he when you transform and he sees this um, the Moonzig form, you're gonna see his face peaked with interest and a very small amount of confusion before returning to like a neutral face. <laughs> On default dances. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I know. Give you one of those. Uh... I'd I'd rather I share this information with you now rather than when I go to visit my roommate and have have you freak out in public. I'll make sure to make a big deal then, too. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> you, this old man just kind of gives you <laughs> a smirk. But I, I do promise to not tell a soul. Thank you, my so friend. So long as I live. <laughs> After death, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a ghost, and that's not Shim Liam! <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker! No. Hands him the oh. ring to find shielding. <laughs> <laughs> Throws it I, at him. Uh, is there anything else the two of you would like to keep talking about? No. Okay. The rest of the night passes uneventfully. Okay, sure. It is now the next shift. Wind chime and Animo. I will go wake up Wind chime before I head to my tent. I'm tapping you out. Wake up, Wind chime. It is your turn to watch. Oh, oh, oh. She looks really big. It's so Good morning. Hot. Um, Wind chime. Yeah. If you could do me a favor, would you roll me a um? Uh, charisma check. Okay. Mm. Straight charisma is fine. Not a save. That's fine. Seven. When you go, like, open up the tent flap to to wake her up. Uh, Nahiri's arm is kind of like just very gently like um, wrapped like around her arm. Does that make Aww. sense? Like their arms are touching. Aww. Yep. Like just crossed in front of each other. He's gonna just give us a smirk. 
before slowly making his way up to her and tapping her on the shoulder to wake her up lightly. Oh my goodness. She, she, uh, startles awake, but is, stays quiet so she doesn't wake Nahiri. <laughs> Me meanwhile, Moonsick goes into the tent and, like, starts patting a name. Oh, hey, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Ten more. <laughs> Ten more minutes, and you're going to be late for your shift. <laughs> okay. All right. Ugh. And maybe Dad pulls out daggers. <laughs> <laughs> you open your eyes, and Amo. And you see Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> no. You what? I'm kidding. And I see Mercedes. Oh. <laughs> you need to bring that back at some point. That no, it's angel. like like wake like waking up like it looked like mercy for a split second, but then like all of a sudden you're like, wait, that's not right. <laughs> yeah, actually, actually, the first thing that you I was actually having a dream about about her. <laughs> Oh god. So I just wake up. Ah, uh, my love. Uh, do, uh, oh, miss. Thanks for waking me up. Okay, bye! We will never I speak of this again. Are you, you alright, Animo? Bye! <laughs> 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 uh. Hi, Wind Chime. It looks like this is morning. Pitch black. <laughs> yeah, good morning. Looks up to see the moons. <laughs> Are you safe right now? Yeah, I mean it's not it's not even it's not even really anywhere near you know it's not like a little a little wacky, a little a little silly. Okay. I'm just wondering. I think I heard, like, howling when I was asleep. <laughs> it wasn't me. I, 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 don't, I don't really think that I even howl. Although I'm not necessarily sure. Oh, that's true. Panthers probably don't howl. No, we're much, we're much better at stealth than that. Yeah. I promise oh, you, you right. won't see us coming. <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> Winchum, uh, I did want to ask... Are you okay with me being around? I know that I did quite a number on you in my other form. Yeah, I mean... It hurt my feelings a lot. I won't lie about that. I still get a little bit scared, because... You literally ripped your teeth into my body, and I was, I was on my deathbed. But I'm starting to realize that that just happens a lot to me. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, kinda, I guess, yeah. I don't know. Oh this is the bad thing. Our, when our cleric is like, yeah, I'm just casually accustomed to death, that's a <laughs> sign that we should probably start doing better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, can you see Animal kind of like awkwardly pick something out of his teeth? Um, and, then, and then say, uh, yeah... I didn't, I never planned on, well, I mean, obviously, I didn't, um. Yeah, no, that wouldn't make sense to you planning on eating me or anything. You're not planning on eating me, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it wouldn't, um. Listen, if you're ever in, in a lot of danger in combat, um, I can definitely try and get the attention off off of you and onto me. I, I don't I don't want that to happen to you anymore. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. You do a lot for us when we're fighting up against all those monsters, though. 
Like, it would be re- really scary going into those fights without you by, our, by my side. I... Nemo blushes. <laughs> it's 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 uh it's it's just the uh I, I thank you. You're welcome. How are you doing by the way? Um Honestly I feel like I've been a little bit absent recently. It's like somebody else is controlling me. <laughs> not yeah, like the incredible. not like the Panther, not like the Panther. I think it's less Rude than that, but you know, sometimes I feel like I miss out. Like you're not yourself. I've yeah, had sometimes I'll do things and then wonder later why. Why did I do that? I've had that experience no? before myself, so I understand. Yeah, she did indeed. Well, what What about you? I know that you know this entire journey is. Uh, it's, 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 it's all about you. So how are you doing emotionally? Um, I'm, I'm okay. I'm worried about my parents. But I think we're going to get there before anything really bad happens. And, yeah. but the you know, get there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, left, I left my hometown a while ago to, you know, explore the world and see more of it and get away from the constant danger of the gnolls. Um, it's been interesting because there's a lot more danger out here in the real world, too. So, I feel more I mean, capable now of taking them on. Yeah. That's fair. Um, yeah, I'm sure that everything's going to be fine. I'm glad that your confidence is going up with time. Yep. Practice. Um. You want to see if this amulet has anybody in it? <laughs> like a I was going to check this amulet? out at some point. Yeah, he kind of grabs the amulet. Uh, it's supposed to, like, hold, like, a soul of the person that dies with it on. I'm wondering if they're, like... Like, as a uh-huh. tribute to the god, they kind of, like, put a st- stone with, the, with the, the amulet with a soul in it. That's terrifying. Well, I'd, it seems that I was able to attune to it fine, so I'm not necessarily sure that it's something I should be scared of, but... Mm-hmm. So, if you wear it and you die, your soul will go into it? It's possible. If there's a soul in it now, I'm, I'm a little bit worried about what might happen there. Maybe we just, like, I'm going to play a game of chess. Yeah, there might not be enough room for two souls. I don't know. I'm not really planning on dying to find out. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good plan. Yeah. I won't let you die. I'll just, like, bring you back to life if you do. <laughs> Thanks, Woodshine. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I would like to try and telepathically talk to the amulet. Okay. Wrapping your hand around the amulet, what do you say? Or think? Knock, knock, knock. Is there anybody in there? (laughs) (laughs) You, uh... You wait just a moment, and you hear, um... Oh, is there? Oh, oh my god! Holy sh- winch! Oh! Oh, okay. Oh. Is, is anybody- is there anybody around? Are you talking about love? Okay. I so, saw- I think somebody's in there. Yeah? Um... Oh, that's sorry, really that was... cool. You have, like, a friend around your neck. Yeah, I mean, I hope it's a friend. Uh, it kind of telepathically funny? thinks again. Um, I'm sorry that that caught me quite off guard. What did you say? <laughs> you just kind of heard the screaming and you know, a little. Oh, 
was there! It's, uh, my, my name's Animo. Who are you? I'm Gillywater! Frederick it's Gillywater! Like but water. Frederick Gillywater. Okay, Frederick Gillywater. Um... You know that you're dead, right now. Yup. Out of curiosity, how long have you been in this amulet? Amulet. A while. Like oh, I don't know what. Couple hundred. Maybe more. Maybe less. Minutes? <laughs> Years? Yeah, maybe. Why did I find you? Well, why did we find you and where we found you? Do you want me to be honest? What the fuck? Yeah. I talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, oh. that's okay. You know, I haven't really had anybody to have a good conversation with in a while. Oh no. So happy to have oh. you around. Oh no. <laughs> it's been a couple a couple hundred years for you, hasn't it? Uh you know, well, I mean since the last time I talked to anybody it probably was, you know, like four or five, but I've been stuck in this thing for a good long while. How many people have had you around their neck? Uh, maybe like 40? Oh no. <laughs> wow, 40 oh, God. people. It's like the lovers with 40 people uh, have had you around. all over again. Wow, okay. Um, 40 people. <laughs> Wind chime. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Well, what is it? Is it uh, how? Cool? How would I? Uh, they're what, very what, talkative. What, 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 the 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 very the talkative. Y okay. Yeah. What, what's their name? The um, Gilly Water. What was it again? Gilly Water. Interesting. Frederick Gilly Water, I believe. That's a nice name. Oh, yeah, it's a nice name. Uh, they agree that it's a nice name. Um, oh, my goodness. What, what are you... You're saying it like it's a bad thing. <laughs> this amulet has had 40 wearers. And... 41 Patrick now! Gilly, well, 41 <laughs> now. Gillywater <laughs> has had... 200 long years in this amulet. Maybe more! Maybe less! Probably more. Um... <laughs> oh, That's um, what I'm trying no. to do with amulet. I, I, I'll be honest, I just don't... I just don't, don't really know what to do. Well, well Gilly Water. maybe... First impressions are not the best, and you should give it some time. I think first impressions have gone great! I already consider you, you know, at least half above the rest of the cut. Oh no! At least better than half of them. What do you mean, uh, at least half better? Oh, you know, like... So far, upon first impressions, you haven't yeeted me across the room, you haven't cursed me out, cussed me out, <laughs> you know. So far, you seem like a pretty likable fellow. I'm so excited to be with you. Are you an adventurer? Do you travel? No, I do a fair bit of traveling, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. You'll have to describe to me in great detail all of the places and things that you see. You understand, I can hear things in here, but I can't see very much. I've got no eyes, you hear. 
No eyes. It's a dark, gloomy. Existence? Yeah. It makes me want to brood. Just, like, suddenly go from like happy, jovial to like crippling depression. <laughs> Um, what's he saying? After 200 years, why haven't you passed on? Oh, you know, so I can meet people as awesome as you? Oh, no! I think there's plenty of people even awesomer than I am in the afterlife. Oh, I highly doubt that. Plus, it's pretty scary over there. I know some people who fast, and oh boy, would they not be happy to see me! Oh, I think it's better to stay right in here inside this amulet. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Uh, what do you What do you mean that those people in the afterlife I wouldn't be happy to see? You? Why would they put you in the afterlife with people that wouldn't people be happy to and, like, see you? Oh, you know, like just maybe I did piss off a cute couple of really powerful people. And maybe, just maybe, that's why I made this amulet. Maybe, just maybe, they wouldn't be happy to see me. You made this amulet? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Gotta protect. Do you the understand noggin, what you know? it's capable of? That's why I made it. You know, <laughs> I'm fully aware of its effects. Took me a good long while too. So. Before you passed on, were you some kind of alchemist? Alchemist? No, no. Just, you know, a... A, a connoisseur of the arcane art. Connoisseur of the arcane arts. Would you be willing to... Help out in times of need when discussing different magical items? I could try. But then again, I can't actually see anything, and I can't interact with the world, and I can really only talk to you. But I could try. I definitely wouldn't mind. I haven't had a good thumper in a while. A good what now? Thumper! What does that mean? One that makes you thump your head across the book. God. Ah. <laughs> I see. Listen, I gotta get down some ground rules with you. Yeah? Um, oh, in well, most... see, I, I, as far as I know, you know, like, I see it like this. If you want to use the magical item, and, oh, you know, I love it. It is great. Protects everything up in that noggin of yours. Yep, yep, yep. Uh -huh. I come along. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm considering the possibilities, um, but when you're coming along, if you're talking to me constantly, then it, it will make the... Make you look a little crazy? Perhaps. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. I mean, I would just maybe be willing to, uh, keep it quiet, but, uh, you gotta do me a favor first. I'm listening. So, back in my, you know, my, my old home, it's been a while now, <laughs> Jeez, I don't know the last time I was in there. I left something pretty important to me. Something I needed to finish. Just some sort of magical tinkering, nothing to be of super worry about. Um, but I would really like to go back and have that work finished. Where is this? Oh, well, you know. Trossenwald. Okay, if you get the work finished, will you leave the amulet? Yes. Pinky promise with no pinkies. I'm down. 
<laughs> All right, I'll keep it quiet. I'll keep it quiet. Do talk to me sometimes, though. It can get pretty lonely. <laughs> All right, all right. Windchime, um, I kind of struck a deal. Uh, so you you struck a deal with a soul and an amulet. Yes, the soul oh will God. leave the amulet if I do some important finish up some important work for for him. Do you, um, do you need the soul to leave the amulet? I think it would be highly useful for the soul to leave the amulet. Okay. Well, what's the word? Just tinkering with some ma- He wasn't actually very specific on it, but just tinkering with some, some magic and, and finishing some projects, I believe. Um, we have to go to- wait, Frederick, what was it again? Trossenwald. Trossenwald. We have to go to Trossenwald. Where is that? It's like the town the... before Allfield. Oh, okay, that's on the way. Perfect. But, yeah. This sounds a lot like that time we helped that, um... The... What? The what? Sheep? Kind of... <laughs> the what? Sheep? Yeah, the sheep, remember? He was a wizard, but he was a sheep. And... Yeah. He was like, it wasn't a big deal to help him, but it turned out to be kind of a big deal. Yeah, I know. But I feel like it's worth it for me. Would you be willing to help me? Of course! I mean, you're helping me already. Like, we're, we're basically a family at this point. All of us together. Like, I feel like everybody would really come in for each other and help us. No matter what the problem was. Yeah. I agree with that. <laughs> I've done everything I wanted to do during this. Please roll workout. some perception checks. <laughs> I forgot yes, to have you for sure. One, 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 one hundred percent. Eleven. Sixteen. Both of you see part the way through the night. Not too long after the conversation was ha finished, um, Moonzik pop out of his tent. Oh. Don't mind me. Just need oh. to go to the bathroom. Forgot to do that before I lay down. Of course, of course. When time yeah, turns back to the fire. I'll like run back there. What? Everything good. That's just the sound of that's just the sound of Moonstick taking a piss. <laughs> Everything good out here? Yep, we're ju we've just been chatting. That's good. Yeah. Well, are, are you are you tired, Moonstick? I am. I'm gonna head back to bed. Okay. The rest of the night passes uneventfully. We're going to leave it there. The next morning, um, a little bit early, maybe, to do a ritual or two. And to talk about what happened in your dreams. <laughs> ah, yes, <laughs> our level up dreams. Level up dreams. Love level up dreams. They are really cool. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for playing today. Yeah. I hope you had a good time. Forgot I was um, for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can't wait to see you week next week. Yes. It'll be Halloween. TV slash Richard Hyperion. It will be Halloween, and I and I will be dressing up for Halloween. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, for those of you on YouTube, we are doing this every Monday. Next week on Halloween, we're doing it at 2.30 Central, 3.30 Eastern, uh, over or here at twitch.tv slash rigidhyperion. I'll be Edit. putting the link in the description below. Uh, if you like this video, drop a like. Uh, 
leave a comment with any criticism or comments you want to make or and uh, if you want to uh, be kept in uh, touch with uh, what's coming out on my channel subscribe um, now that we've reached session 24 I'm going to be going back through sessions 13 and 24 13 through 24 for uh, funny moments in my uh, in the my uh, gag reel, and then um, I'm hoping maybe Wednesday you'll be able to uh, do some streaming otherwise of uh, Zelda Randomizer. Um, and with all of that, I hope you all have a lovely day.